Hello everyone, welcome back to my commentary channel and thank you for joining me here today. Today we're talking about money and the people who have a lot of it. I don't love saying this, but money is important. We kind of need it to exist in our systems. The only reason you're watching me now is because I paid for this camera and laptop and phone and you paid for the internet. Like, money's everywhere. That's why I think it's easy to get envious of celebrities or other well-paid entertainers, because they get access to an entire different world than us just because they have more special green papers. And I know some of you might be saying, Duncan, don't you know that money can't buy you happiness? And you could be right, I wouldn't know. But what I do know is that money can buy you comfort. And comfort would make me very happy. Anyway, money's important. I think we can all agree on that. And that's why it's so upsetting to see this video of a guy throwing $100,000 into the ocean from a yacht. This is the popular rapper Kodak Black tossing an obscene amount of money into the ocean. This video spread around online where it understandably got a lot of people very angry. The comments are 15% jokes, 10% people defending him, and 75% people going, no. Me with all my bills and debt looking at this foolishness. It's your money, but remember this moment when you ask for support from people grinding to support themselves, their family, and still sacrifice dough for your art and music. Just saying, man. Two grand in credit card debt is currently keeping me from buying a house for myself and my kids, but yeah, this is pretty cool too. He's from one of the poorest places in Florida, and yet he'd rather impress people for views instead of giving that money to black poverty-stricken families. This could be one of the saddest and out-of-touch videos I've ever seen. Me pulling up after seeing Sun toss all that bread in the water. Shortly after the first video, Kodak Black posted a second video of him angrily stuffing hundreds of dollars into the toilet with his bare hands. He's literally flushing money down the drain. I don't think I've ever seen that. He reaches in at one point to make sure it goes down. It would take a lot of strength for me to reach into a toilet for money, let alone use my hands to push it down. I mean, this guy is wrist deep in one. That is simply not something I can empathize with. Now, my initial reaction to these videos was to get mad. Really, really mad. That money could have done a lot of good if it was given to people who needed it. Additionally, I want that $100,000 if he doesn't. I'd take it off your hands. Your toilet water hands. Not to belabor the point, but $100,000 would change my life. Knowing me, I would use it to buy a house, a car, some pets, plants, tattoos, maybe a rare painting or a prop from a famous movie. And then I would use the rest of it to make sure the people in my life experience that same comfort. So yeah, seeing what I need to make that dream a reality get turned into fish food does not exactly make me happy, especially since there can't be any good reason for him to do this. He's just flexing, right? He's showing off. Chucking money overboard doesn't make you look cool, it makes you look dumb and obnoxious. Most of the reactions to these videos are of a similar mindset. Showing yourself disposing of money only shows a dissonance towards its value. Responding angrily sounds kinda reasonable. But I had to slow down and remember, this is the internet. This entire thing could be faked and designed to provoke engagement from people. And I don't want to fall for that trick again. Never again. During the cash dumping, you do see a cameraman adjusting some lights, meaning this thing had some production to it and there must have been some setup. That seems like good evidence that this was staged. There's also no sound, so maybe it's edited to block out unreleased or copyrighted music, and music videos usually use prop money, so maybe it's not real cash being tossed. It's still littering, but one thing at a time. So I was ready to close this case as just another example of something I don't fully understand, but I also don't know enough to really make a solid stance on it, so I'm just gonna let it be. But there was one thing that was still bothering me, and that is the title of this video. Kodak Black ain't worried about Jack Boy throws 100k cash into the Atlantic Ocean. First note, thank you for specifying which ocean it was, I could just tell that was gonna bother me all day. Second of all, who is Jack Boy? I barely know who Kodak Black is, how am I supposed to know who he could hypothetically be worried about? Okay, after a quick search, it looks like they're both rappers who are having a feud right now, and the trashing of the money is nothing more than showboating, pardon the pun, in order to make the other mad. 
Kodak Black is having some issues with one of the artists on his label named Jack Boy. Basically, it's alleged that there's some bad business being done on Kodak Black's part. So because it sounds like this beef between the two rappers is legitimate, I'm going to assume that the production we see with the lights and the cameraman is not part of a music video, but rather just a planned execution of the beef escalating. And because of that, I think it's also safe to assume that the money being tossed is not fake. Just from reading some of the exchanges the two have had, it sounds like this fight is tense, and I don't think they'd risk getting caught throwing away fake money. This is an authentic power play. That money is legitimate. Hello everyone, editing Duncan here. Please excuse my everything. It's very late for me here. I did a little more research post-filming, and it turns out that Kodak Black has a lot of very serious allegations against him, including a past assault and battery charge, as well as an ongoing sexual assault case, and it's noteworthy that he was also pardoned by Trump after being sentenced to a four-year prison sentence for falsifying papers to buy a gun. I only bring this up because I think it's important that we recognize that this is not just a rapper doing something crazy for attention. Like, this person routinely acts beyond responsibility. We can't just say, oh look, another musical artist acting wacky, because this person makes really bad decisions apart from financial ones. Anyway, back to the video. I guess it's good to finally know the full context of these clips, but at the same time, it doesn't make me feel any better, surprisingly. I still feel as though the public reaction of frustration is justified. That's real money getting thrown into the water. $100,000 if this title is to be trusted. Despite his intentions, this is not just a flex on Jack Boy or whatever. This is a flex on all of us. This person threw 100k into the ocean because he could, and it wouldn't affect him. I don't think many people can say the same. I sure can't. And you know what the worst part about all of this is? It's probably the amount of money getting thrown over. But you know what the second worst part of all this is? This obnoxious display of wealth isn't even an isolated incident anymore. This one is just the most transparent. If you go on any celebrity's social media, you'll see flexing like this. Sure, it might not be from a boat or involve quite as much money, but when you lead a life that's been cushioned by wealth, it's easier for that to come across in your actions. And I do think Instagram is the internet's hotspot for flexing. Other sites like Twitter or TikTok have it too, but the emphasis Instagram puts on visuals really highlights what people decide to show off. Let's look at some examples. Known party animal and trust fund scam artist Dan Bilzerian does nothing but flex in his photos. Here he is on a boat, here he is with a private plane, here he is playing chess with the board being flanked by stacks of money for no goddamn reason. It's all just models, money, models, boats. All aspects of luxury he knows people desire. He's capitalizing on what his audience, young men, think they want, and he does this by showing off. You can see this behavior in Instagram models as well, shown here by Emily Ratajkowski. We see expensive outfits at fancy parties, her enviable lifestyle being put on display, and a constant emphasis on a bodily figure that only money can maintain, especially after going through childbirth. But I'm not only criticizing celebrities I don't like. Every celebrity's Instagram is essentially a highlight reel of what their life has allowed them to lead, and by putting it on display, they're showing it off, no matter what their intentions are. And to break it down even further, it's not even necessarily a celebrity thing. Instagram operates by you putting your life on display, which could be read as showing off no matter what you're posting. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing necessarily. This is bad. I'm not going to try to defend this. Like, we can agree that th that's terrible. But I don't think we should read every flex as this boastful. It could be completely indirect. Like, I have a desk. If you don't have a desk, or if you're in the market for a desk, this is kind of flexing on you that I have a desk. That's not a, a great example, but I'm not intentionally flexing on you by having a desk, but some people could read it that way. Okay, the point I am trying to make with this video is that this video of a rapper throwing money into the Atlantic Ocean is an example of insulting and unjustifiable celebrity flexing, but it's an extreme case and not all flexing of wealth online should be taken that way. And now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to spend everything in this wallet on lavish luxury items in order to make the poors feel bad about themselves. <laughs> See you later, losers.
There's only five dollars in this entire wallet. <sighs> that is going to affect my brand. Thank you all for watching my video. I seriously appreciate you doing that. You can always watch more videos if you like, and I will leave my social medias on screen if you would like to see more of me off of YouTube. I hope you're all having a good summer. Be sure to take advantage of the sunlight and go out and do something fun. I mean, I sit inside and edit all day, so I'm jealous of the sun, so you have to go do what I cannot. I hope you're all taking care of yourselves, and I'll see you here for the next one. I love you lots. Goodbye.